Uffington Castle was originally constructed in the Late Bronze Age, about three and a half thousand years ago. Initially, the site was surrounded by a ditch topped with wooden ramparts and entered via a timber gateway to the west. During the Iron Age, the fort was improved with a 12 meter wide and two and a half meter high chalk bank lined with sarsen stone. Archaeological excavations at the site have shown evidence of several large Iron Age roundhuts that would have accommodated extended family groups. During excavations, a clay-lined gully was uncovered, suggesting evidence of water management. The site has also revealed evidence of weaving, spinning and the keeping of animals. Further evidence of the domestic and agricultural activity is to be found in field systems close to the site. Taken together, this demonstrates that the site was not purely for defensive purposes, but rather a permanent community resided there. Despite extensive evidence of habitation in the surrounding area, permanent occupation of the site appears to cease around the 3rd century BC, only resuming again during the last century of the Roman occupation of Britain. Situated 170 metres to the northeast of the hill fort, the 110 metre long white horse dates to the Late Bronze Age, between three and a half and two and a half thousand years ago, and is the oldest of the white horse figures in Britain. And although the function of the horse is not clear, it has been speculated that it may have been a territorial marker. The present shape of the horse may well not have been as originally cut. Aerial photography of the site has shown that a larger, more conventional shape of a horse lies beneath. The first record of the horse is from a cartillary of Abingdon Abbey, compiled between 1072 and 1084, which refers to the site as Mons Albiequi, the White Horse Hill. The medieval Welsh book, the Red Book of Hergest, written around the year 1400, states that near to the town of Abington, there is a mountain with a figure of a stallion upon it, and it is white, nothing grows upon it. On the lower slopes beneath the white horse sits Dragon Hill. The hill's almost perfect conical shape and level summit had led to the assumption that the mound was man-made. However, whilst this may be true for the flattened plateau, the shape of the mound is due to glacial erosion. The hill is likely to have gotten its name from its supposed use as a burial mound, since dragons were thought to guard treasure, and a mound the size of Dragon Hill must surely have contained enough treasure for even the most covetous of dragons. 